and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am doing something that I have promised several people a number of times to do um, and that is show you how I turn my cereal boxes into beautiful hand painted cards. Now um, these cards are uh, I buy them in a pack just like this they come with envelopes and um, I get these ones from warehouse stationery here in New Zealand but you can also get them online or um, in any crafty shop or any stationer's shop type thing so let's just have a quick look at one of these um, basically what I've chosen to do, and you can choose to do it however you like obviously, is I've set up a uh, thing on my computer so that I can print out this hand painted by Michelle Edhouse www.mickeyart.co.nz um, on the back of the card and so then I would go through and stick a piece of painting on. Uh, what I did was I got the size of the cards and worked out how much of a border I wanted to have and having done that I could then go ahead and uh, make this which is my cardboard template and literally I can then just lay it down onto the card, pick a spot that I think is going to look pretty and cut it out. And to do that I grab my metal rule and lay it down on top of the cardboard so that you cannot see the edge. And I get my box cutter type knife and just try and stay against the metal ruler but sometimes it kind of goes a little bit wonky and that requires a little bit of trimming okay and then I turn it around and go down all four sides it's really quite simple And if you have, if this is one of your first visits to my channel, welcome. Um, these are actual paintings that I do with leftover paint after I've finished a painting. And uh, my family likes the Hubbards very, very nice. And so they eat quite a bit of it which keeps me in stock of a white cardboard. It's not 100% white. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty close. <laughs> so, uh, once we've got that cut out, just like that, and I have a look at it, make sure that the edges are all looking tidy. That one's a little bit wonky. So, I don't like the um, I don't like seeing the cardboard. So I kind of try and cut on a bit of a angle just to give it a bit more tidiness. I then grab my signing pen. And decide which way round I'm gonna have it on my card. Uh, the way I choose is I look at it from all angles. If I was had it as a portrait card, would I like it that way or like it that way? And I think I'd like it that way. And then I turn it on an angle and go, hmm, do I like it like that? Yep, that's pretty good. Cool. All right. 
and so I pick then a corner on which to sign it and I'm actually going to sign up in this corner up there sometimes I use pen sometimes I use silver black it just depends on what the color of the piece is so next step and I will what I usually do is I create a bit of a production line of this um, I won't just do one at a time I haven't I've, I ran out to the sieve <laughs> tell you what happened I had a video all lined up ready to paint um, finish for you yesterday and somehow transferring the data from my phone to my computer the file vanished I cannot find it anywhere I'm a computer geek and I can't find it like what's right about that I didn't I'm missing so that one went by the by and then today I went to record the ending for today's video and the painting's not dry. It's so humid here at the moment. I'm sitting here sweating. Uh, it's just so hot and humid. But it's the humidity is actually keeping the paints from drying, which is a bit of a pain. So you've got to make sure that you've got the painting, the card and the painting around the right way. <laughs> so I would normally go through and cut out all the pieces I've got a bit of a collection starting to build up here and um, I would go through and cut out the pieces for the cards and uh, once I'd cut them all out then I'd go through and sign them all that gives me the indication of which way around they're going to go on the card and then what I usually do is grab some double sided tape and a pair of scissors and you don't need much of this what what the double sided tape is for is to put it in position because what we're going to do is we're going to put the double sided tape on there and then we're going to grab a foam brush and some PVA white craft glue whatever you want to use it doesn't have to be too just has to come out that's all it's the only requirement of you paint glue is come out you don't have to tell your mother just come out <laughs> all right let's do it another way you get the pva out of the pot that's always an interesting thing when i'm doing a large quantity of these I just have a pot sitting beside me with PVA in it and I just go through and just go right around the whole edge so that when it gets onto the card it can just stick there and stay okay um, one hint if you're doing these and you're doing more than one at a time make sure your area that you're working that you don't then put the next card down on top of a glue that's come off um, that is my hint of the day and then the cool thing is with why I use the double-sided sticky tape is you then once you decide where you want it, you can and press that down, it stays. The first batch I did, I didn't use double sided sticky tape, I just used the PVA. And what happened was, <laughs> put them into the press and they just slipped all over the white place and I had all these beautiful pieces of art stuck sideways and looking wonky so the next thing that you need to do is actually weight this down so that the glue stays down keeps the card flat doesn't warp the card or anything like that and what I have done is I've gone through and grabbed some 
cooking paper because it's non-stick it doesn't the PVA doesn't stick to it and I just put that down and put a book or something on top of it um, and then it weighs it down and I just stack them probably about eight in a stack before they start to get a bit wonky so put them under a weight and glue the next one and put that one on there and and just stack it um, I have a whole pile of cooking paper all ready to go and uh, so and you can just cut the next one or as I said I usually do cut them all out at the same time and um, then go through and put the double-sided sticky tape on them and then go through individually and glue them down so that's it guys that is the entire process um, you can also buy these bags they are self seal they've got a little pull tab fold over bit um, and they if you get the right ones they fit your card beautifully and uh, you can you know so they they stick down they look professional and people are like oh fancy <laughs> so that's how I do it guys uh, here's a bit of a selection of some of the ones that I've done and I know the next question that is going to come out from you all is how much do you charge for them I charge five dollars each for them or a pack of five uh, four for twenty dollars no five for twenty dollars sorry so you get one free because um, four times five is twenty but I give you five times for the twenty dollars so as you can see the, one of the reasons why I collect up a selection of them before I start cutting is then I tend to have a selection from different different paintings that create different art pieces um, I've even got one here from a Christmas one and this one is actually on freezer paper rather than on cardboard so I could actually have it either side up uh, I'm not actually sure it's quite the right size but what I'd probably do with this is um, trim it so that we've got more of a almost a cupcake shape I hope that makes sense <laughs> um, so you can just glue these down as well uh, I'm not so sure about using the double-sided sticky tape because that might show through whereas it doesn't on the cardboard um, but if you try it let me know in the comments um, and if you do cards as well and you uh, have any hints and tips that you'd like to share with the viewers with other people please 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 do um, let us all know in the comments I love it when we all um, share information with each other through that um, and it fascinates me to see how many of you interact on those comments and it's so so cool to see um, please keep art chats politics free um, and keep it kind guys keep it kind what can we create that's a different reality by keeping the kindness and the caring that we all know is possible um, as part of what we choose every day so there we go if you if you've spotted any of these that you'd like to to purchase let me know I've no idea how we'll quite work out which one you wanted but uh, maybe I will take photos of these and put them somewhere where I can share those with you um, so yeah how's it get any better than that 
how much fun can you have creating your own cards um, and I tell you what my kids love giving these cards to their friends on their Christmas and their birthdays they uh, they're like mum can I use one of your cards and they'll pick one that has colours or has textures that they like and um, actually I, my sister uses them she <laughs> The ones I've given her as gifts, she has taken photos of and put um, self-improvement sayings on them and uh, tags me, well, tags Mickey Art page as, to reference them. But uh, she also then puts them into a, a frame, you know. So you're not just giving somebody a card, you're giving them a a gift in the card because it's a hand painted piece um, so what gift can you be in other people's lives even when you don't realize it I adore you all thank you so much for watching and I hope you have fun and I cross fingers I'll have some paintings dry for you for tomorrow I have had a big day of painting today I've got awesome awesome yummy stuff and I'm trying a new paint, so I'm hoping they dry nice. Um, and how much fun can we all have creating our realities? I adore you all. Have fun. Bye-bye.